So hi, Dave Rossum. We're here at Superbooth, um, and you've got a very exciting sampler to show off. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, here it is over here. It's called a simulator. Right now, it's it's uh, not even really in a prototype form. This is what we call a mock-up. There's no circuitry behind this. Um, we have it. We're announcing development of it, and what that means is we've got the mathematical models behind how this thing's going to work. Uh, somewhat worked out. And uh, so we're beginning the actual working out what's going to be in the hardware and so on. Thus far, we've decided we're going to have somewhere around 160 seconds of total sampling time at high fidelities. That's like at uh, 48k or sample rate. Uh, although you probably can go up to 96 or even higher sample rates if you want. It'll all be 24-bit samples internally. Um, and then the idea behind this is it's truly a modular synthesizer sampler. You've got three control voltages going in for each of the eight channels. For each channel, you'll be able to assign these control voltages to various parameters, such as obviously pitch, level, um, but other interesting things like uh, the, the starting point of a, of a looping, the bit depth of it, um, who knows what else. There was quite a list of, of things that we've come up with. Would you be able to change uh, what the CVs are assigned to on the fly? Uh, yeah, uh, well, on the fly, um, I don't really think there's a way to, uh, th there's a uh, method to do that, uh, because the gate and trigger is, of course, to trigger the sample, but you'll be able to customize them for an individual channel. Um, so you, you, you choose a particular sample channel and then configure how is it this one best controlled by the three CVs. But all three are real time at the same time, so you've got a whole space of uh, parameters that you can get at, at that point. You've also got a mix output, so you, you can conveniently mix all of them. Um, and uh, uh, got sample inputs over here, a storage card, which is just a little uh, uh, HD card that uh, uh, will save your samples. And we're planning on putting the samples in WAV format on here, so you'll also be able to. Uh, under certain limitations, uh, compose samples on a computer and be able to load them into the module if that's what you want to do. One of the really interesting things, we call it phase modulation sampler because in addition to the sample uh, control voltage control of the pitch, you'll also be able to directly control the index into the sample. So you can do like real-time scratching would be low frequencies. At higher frequencies, that becomes what we call phase modulation. It's a very interesting sound. I don't know that's ever been done in a sampler before. So, we're expecting to have this complete towards the end of the year. We don't have pricing information or anything like that yet. It really is just we're announcing we've got it in development. We know where we're headed, but there's a lot of decisions to be made on it. Um, and a lot of fun to be had as we figure out exactly how it works and I get to play with it a little bit in the hardware. Um, and you've also got one of the prototypes which you saw at NAMM, which we, didn't, we weren't able to hear. You've actually got a working prototype now. Right, exactly. The Morpheus now um, is uh, fully operating in terms of the filter being uh, functional. We have, uh, you can see the different numbers of the filters there, the different names. These are all filters. Uh, really, I, the proper word is inspired by because we translated them into the new technology. But fundamentally, they're the same set of filters in terms of uh, 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 passband functions and so on as is in the older Proteus. So there's 288 of them there. You can see on the display, uh, we've got three real-time parameters, frequency, morph, and transform. They're being modulated by LFOs as you sweep around. That moves the point of the filter within the interpolation cube. And at the bottom, you can see how the filter transfer function varies as a result of these control voltages. If we turn up the audio here, which I think I can do. Now I'm just running white noise with this filter. And you can hear all the various fun peaks moving around in here. If instead I put some oscillator noise into this. Oh, yeah, quite a bit of fun with this so um, that's just one of 
288 filters. I even haven't gone through them all yet and found out what they sound like. Uh, our development process, of course, after that is going to be after do QA on each one of those and so on. So it's still a couple of months before Morpheus will be ready for production, but it's getting awfully close. We also have the control forge here. You could hear that as we were um, uh, modulating things. The control forge, in this case, it's running as an LFO that we've programmed in. Uh, you can see there it goes into one of these zigzag waveforms as it comes up. Um, it's now going to go into a curve section there, a, a bounce back and forth section. We can time scale this in real time so we can make it really go fast by turning the knob up, slow it way down over here so now we're just jumping back and forth between these various chaotic points, uh, sweeping down slowly here, and there we go. And again, here we have uh, um, a variety of just different um, devices. For example, I can choose this envelope here, and now we've got a, a envelope being triggered off of this. Um, see the blue lights down here? If I hold the gate down, and now as I release the gate, it goes back off into the release portion of the envelope. I can re-trigger it, and as long as I hold the gate down, it just goes through these phases, and loops in there, and bounces on along there. So there's a full tour we could take at some point of this. I, uh, Marco is really the expert on it. There's a lot of depth of programming in the control forge, so uh, uh, it, it takes uh, an almost encyclopedic mind to even know what it does entirely. So um, when, it, when are you hoping to have the Morpheus and the, uh, uh, and the, the control forge ready? Uh, our best guess right now is sometime in the month of June. Uh, I'm guessing it'll probably be towards the end of the month because, again, we want to do a lot of QA and preset development for both of these things so we can ship a really complete project. But uh, our plan is to have uh, uh, manufacturing going full, full on by the end of June. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us. You're welcome.